only have two point guards, a shooting guard, and a small forward. Yeah, we got a big lineup. Hope we can get some more guards. And then this man joined the game. He is a 7 3 glass cleaning lockdown monster. I'm going to insert some clips from the game me and my friend played with this guy that made me want to change my build. Big man can rebound over people. He can block shots. And most importantly, can finish under the rim. A couple years on 2K, I've made big men and I enjoyed it, but this year I kind of wanted to change it up and make a guard. And I settled for a forward to be in the middle of both. But I changed my mind once I read his stats. Five steals, three blocks, 21 points, and 27 rebounds. That is absolutely disgusting. I had to make the build. I had the choice to make between making the majority of my pie graph defensive and rebounding, or if I wanted to make it kind of half and half with defensive and rebounding and finishing. And after looking at it for a few minutes, I ended up deciding that I wanted to make purely defensive and rebounding because he still gets a 95 standing dunk, and that's good enough for me. And he also gets 95 for all his rebounding and his block. For the pie graph, for physical profile, I chose the second one down from the top. It was a pretty easy choice. I mean, I really need the strength and I want as much vertical as I can get so that I can dunk on you. Now, this here is purely up to you, but I think it's pretty clear you want to put most of your finishing up and most of your defensive and rebounding up so that you can get the most badges in those two areas because those are your two main areas with this build. This build came out to have 14 finishing badges and 30 defensive and rebounding badges, 3 playmaking and 1 shooting. And it took me a little bit of tweaking to get it the way I wanted but I finally did. Now for the height, I made my guy the maxed out 7 foot 3 and you can see in this video that I start playing around with it seeing what 7 2 and 7 foot 1 is like and yes making him 7 3 does take down your attributes quite a bit but I find that the size just negates all of that it's worth it to be 7 3 and I made him 290 even though it takes down your speed and everything just trust me with a big man you do not want to skimp out on his weight you want him to be able to body people up in the post and play great defense for my wingspan I went ahead and maxed that out as well because you're gonna to want to be able to grab passes and be able to grab boards over people and you definitely want glass cleaning takeover because it's the best out of the two right there and as you'll see right here I made the Shaquille O'Neal build. So this is how you make the build. Everybody that liked this video thought it was helpful, please like and subscribe. Uh, it helps me out a lot. Thanks. Take it easy.